The Aspergillus IgG IgM is a rapid test based on immunochromatography technology, also known as lateral flow. It allows the simultaneous detection of both IgG and IgM class anti-Aspergillus antibodies in human sera. This is a unitary test for a qualitative diagnostic. It's based on the principle of the homogeneous sandwich, that is, the immunological reaction of two same antigen epitopes with the two binding sites of a bivalent antibody. Each kit contains 20 ready-to-use tests in two sealed and zip-closed bags, each bag containing 10 cassettes and a packet of desiccant. It also contains one 3 ml bottle of eluent and an instruction manual. The kit should be stored in the original sealed bag between 2 and 8 degrees C. Cassettes can be used until the expiry date written on the bag label. Do not freeze and do not use after the expiry date. After opening, the cassettes can be stored for up to two months at room temperature if they are stored in the sealed bag with the desiccant inside. The eluent is also stable at room temperature for two months. The test can be done with either serum or plasma. Sample collection must be sterile and can be done either on dry tube or with heparin, citrate or EDTA. Take care to minimise hemolysis. Keep the samples at 2 to 8 degrees C until they are processed. If they need to be stored, freeze them below minus 15 degrees C. Do not use a contaminated sample. Avoid freezing and thawing the samples repeatedly. The test procedure. In addition to the kit, you will need a micro pipette and disposable tips for dispensing volumes of 15 microliters, a timer and a paper towel. If the bags of tests have been kept in the fridge, allow them to come to room temperature for at least 15 minutes before opening the bag. This will avoid condensation. Inside the cassette, the device is composed of a nitrocellulose strip with two reactive bands. One contains the test antigens purified from an Aspergillus fumigatus culture and is labelled T. The second contains rabbit gamma globulins and is the control band labelled C. The cassette contains a fibreglass support which is impregnated with black latex particles coupled with Aspergillus fumigatus antigens for the test and blue latex particles coupled with goat anti-rabbit IgG for the control. First of all, take out the desired number of cassettes. Then carefully close the bag, making sure the desiccant packet is inside, while pressing out as much air as possible. Close and store the bag at room temperature for up to two months and label new kits with the date of opening. At this point, remove your serum or plasma samples from the fridge or freezer. Label each cassette with the reference of each sample to be tested. Do not use cassettes with different lot numbers and do not work with runs of more than 10 cassettes. Two successive runs of 10 cassettes must be separated by a few minutes in order to be able to make the reading at the recommended times. Use a separate timer for each run. Using a micro pipette with a disposable tip, dispense 15 microliters of serum or plasma to each sample well before moving on to the next step. Dispense one drop of eluent onto a paper towel to remove any air bubbles, and then dispense four drops of the eluent into each sample well. Keep the dropper vertical while dispensing. When the eluent is dispensed into all the cassettes, set your timer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes have passed, you can read the results. This should be done in a well-lit area. To avoid false positives, do not take readings after 30 minutes. If specific antibodies, IgG and or IgM, are present in the sample, a complex is formed between the T latex and the patient's antibodies, which is then captured by the T band. It results in the appearance of a black line showing the test result to be positive. The direct capture of the C latex by the C band results in the appearance of a blue line, meaning that the chromatography performed well. The appearance of this blue line is systematic and independent of the serological status of the patient. So a positive test will show two lines, a black T and a blue C in the corresponding areas. Every T line must be considered positive, even if it has a weak intensity. For very weak lines, make the reading with the eye vertically above the reading area. In this test run, the positive samples are in positions 1, 2 and 3. A negative test will not produce a black line at T, only the blue C line will be visible. In this test, the negative samples are in positions 4 and 5. In very rare cases, a faint diffuse grey line can appear on the T-band. 
this result should be considered negative but controlled on another sample or technique. If no sea line appears, the test is invalid and should be repeated. If the problem persists, contact the manufacturer or your distributor. Remember that this is a qualitative test. The intensity of the black line does not reflect the quantity of specific antibodies in the sample. Positivity of the test is proof of the contact of the patient with the infectious agent.